Tech is welcome back to Tech Youth. Today we are going to solve one more lead code problem that is today's daily code problem water bottles. What is the problem and how we can solve that? Let's check it out. This is the problem water bottles 1518 problem and today's date is October 1st and this is the daily code problem given in lead code. And what is this problem and how to understand this problem? Let's see in a visualized way so that we can understand it better. So there are num what num water bottles like there are num bottles water bottles like this is a variable name and initially full of water. We can exchange num exchange. This is also a variable name. Empty water bottles from the market with one full water bottle. It's like they are saying, we'll be given a nums num bottles uh, variable name as an input and num exchange variable name as an input. Num bottles represents the complete uh, set of water bottles with full water bottles that we have. And num exchange represents the number of water bottles we can exchange to get one more bottle, one more full filled bottle. So in return, right? Initially, we will be having num bottles and after drinking all the bottles if we have num exchange bottle empty bottles then we can exchange it to get one more bottle as represented here you can see and we can see this in my visualizer let's go to our tech key with this visualizer where we can visualize the problem and understand what actual it is instead of pictures we will go with animations right Let's check out our visualizer. Search. This is our visualizer and we'll give in one input. Number of bottles equal to 9 and num exchange equal to 3. Let's see what's the problem. See we have 9 bottles and num exchange is equal to 3 that we represented as columns. So after uh, drinking all these 9, those becomes empty. Now we can exchange 3 bottles to get one more filled bottle. So we got 3 bottles. Now we can drink it up. Then 3 empty bottles is done. Then with these 3 bottles, we can get one more bottle right and we can drink it up one more bottle so finally we have how many bottles we can drink nine bottles plus three bottles shan 11 12 and the final bottle 13 so 13 is our answer in the same way the second example here you can see the number of bottles equal to 15 and max exchange equal to 4 num exchange equal to 4 not max exchange let's see that in do action and we have this input let's see the number of bottles we have is 15 the 15 and num exchange is 4 so we arrange them in four columns right so i can drink all it up so now we had 15 we have drank using this we can exchange four 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 bottles to one more bottle so we got for these four one bottle for these four one bottle and for these four another bottle so totally three more bottles we can drink it up so now we have four more empty bottles now for that we can get one more bottle now we can drink all that up so now we have how many bottles we have drank till now these are all 15 bottles 16 17 18 bottles and one more 19 bottles so total 19 bottles we had that is the example let's try some other example to understand more clearly instead of taking the examples from here we'll try our own example right let's see that it's loading yeah our visualizer is ready now uh instead of 15 we have 20 
ticks and number exchange try to make it six then let's see how it struck now we have 26 bottles each has six so and we can drink it up all all 26 bottles you rank but for this how many bottles we can exchange one two three four four bottles we can get in exchange so four bottles we can get in exchange and then we drink all it up so how many bottles in total we drank this 26 plus this four we got 30 bottles in the answer so this is how we need to understand the problem fine but how to solve this problem any ideas think it up this might be categorized as easy but this simply little tricky when we try to solve this problem in the first i mean in the beginning stage let's check what how we can solve this problem and instead of a normal solution we'll go with some recursive approach recursive approach is a is quite interesting right when we solve a problem recursively initially we may struggle to understand recursion but when we get adopted to it we can get uh, the solution more easily than a traditional solution just show you just see how this solution in recursive way right let's go to our visualizer and i am turning on the solution mode right let's talk about consume right right let's check it out go to solution mode there is the visualizer I'm waiting for you right visualizer is ready let's see this input right see we are taking the second input number of bottles is equal to 15 and m exchange value is 4. let's see we have 15 bottles in total in the solution here the solution here first instead of drinking all these instead of drinking all these bottles single time and then let check for exchanges let's drink only the possible value possible bottles let's drink only the full bottles that what we can exchange so if we drink only these bottles how many bottles we have well how can we get that number that 15 divided by 4 integer division that is equal to 3 right so we got 3 how many bottles we can consume in each row how many exchanges we have into 4 so that is equal to 12 so we can consume 12 bottles and the remaining would be 15 minus 12 that is equal to 3 the remaining would be 3 it can also be obtained by 15 mod 4 that okay so we can drink we can drink that we can drink the 12 bottles here see 12 bottles we had 12 bottles now what we can do these 12 bottles exchange it add it up this we have three bottles now three bottles and these 12 bottles for each four bottles we can get one more bottle so we can get three more bottles right three more bottles that becomes six now let's see after exchanging we got totally six bottles how for each four bottles we got one bottle for these four we got another bottle for these four we got another bottle and three bottles are still remaining there so it doesn't matter we got totally six totally we got six bottles 
finally look carefully with this input with this input i mean number of bottles is 15 and num exchange is 4 we have this output right if the name input is 6 if the input is 6 look carefully this would be our first step the input is 6 this would be our first step and how this input 6 would reflect change into this result if we add this 12 to this 6 then this result we can obtain the result for 15 are you getting if i can solve this problem and add the previous result to that if i solve the problem for 6 and add the previous result which is 12 then i can get the result for 15 are you getting so in that way we can change this value into recursively like previous result previous result plus consume of remaining consume of remaining isn't it previous result plus consume of remaining so now we'll declare a method called consume which takes this as an input let's see now if 6 is an input let's drink to follow the same procedure now drink up now the only four bottles that what we can exchange we drank it up and then we exchanged these also we exchanged these bottles to one more bottle and totally we got three since totally we got three bottles now so totally and finally we will drank all these three bottles right so finally how many bottles we had these 12 these 12 bottles and uh, these 4 bottles and these 3 bottles how many 12 plus 4 plus 3 I think about 19 is our result so using this way we can solve this problem in a recursive manner let's see that in an action we can try a number of examples with the same for example let's take another example and see how this works let's close my visualizer and restart my visualizer mm -hmm. right um take this as an input and let's think about 26 exchange value should be let's think about 32 exchange value is 5 now let's see what happens when i start so we have got 32 water bottles if we drank all it up then we'll get 32 empty bottles 30 bottles have been empty each bottle turns into a different different bottles like now after you drank up the five bottles and then another one bottle is added and then all bottles are empty now how many bottles we drank recursively these are all 30 bottles and these are all five bottles 30 plus 5 35 plus 4 39 bottles total so this is our result in this way we are going to solve this problem recursively so let's look at the solution see this is the solution that we can solve this problem we have a method called consume and i am following the full full bottles that are full fully filled bottles till now if the fully filled bottles are less than the exchange you cannot exchange any bottles I, I should drink all the bottles obviously right if i cannot exchange the bottles and i have all bottles filled i can only drink and i, I should return only that if it, this is not the case 
I am taking the consumed. Consumed. What is the consumed? That's num actions into. I'm taking num actions. How many bottles that I can exchange? I can exchange, uh, for example, here I can exchange four. So four into how many bottles I had? Full bottles. You know, instead of 15, 15 by 4. 15 by 4 is how much? Integer uh, division. 15 by 4 is 3. So 4 into 3, 12. So consumes becomes 12. So here consumes becomes 12, but I am keeping the remaining 3 as it is. And full minus consumed. Because full, I have 15 in the first case. Now full becomes, you just see that. You can debug the problem and see what is the case. Let's see the debugging mode. So I have number of bottles 15 and uh, num exchange value 4. When I go inside it, I have full 15 and num exchange value 4, and it is not that then num exchange so consumed becomes 12. Consumed becomes 12, and full is. Still 15 and minus in the consume. So full is now 3. And I am adding up the exchange. I am exchanging the bottles. What I have consumed. What is that? Consumed or I have consumed mod divided by the num exchange gives me the number of new water bottles that I can get for each of the num exchange uh, set of bottles. So now full becomes 6. Now what I am doing, I am adding that consumed 12. 12 plus now I have 6 bottles. I am passing that here. So, what did we do? It will call the same method again with full as 6. The same logic repeats. Consumes becomes 4 and the remaining full becomes 2. Full I have exchanged one more bottle now, full becomes 3. Now, adding consume and calling the consume for 3. Since it is less than exchange. I cannot exchange, I, am, I have to drink all the bottles. I am returning three, four, I mean full. And finally, all the values got adds up. And we will get the final result, which is 19. Hope you understand the problem and you like this problem. If you really like this problem, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos. And if you have any particular concept or doubt, comment down below. And this code you can find in the comment in the description below. So follow me for more interesting videos and interesting problems. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.